The History of UK BIM Standards. Part 1. The Path to PA 1192-2. I'm Mostafa Alashmaoui and I'm happy to be with you through this video which is based on BRE courses. One of the main obstacles faced BIM, is the need to have universal definition of what BIM is and how we can measure if it works. As you can see, everybody has his own understanding of BIM. But it should be clear, who will do what? When? Where? And how? In 1987, a UK's committee was formed under sponsorship of REBA, Borix and others. Construction Project Information Committee, CPIC. It was initiated to produce documents that can regulate the construction industry and minimize the chaos. In 1993, they made the first successful case study. During the period between 1987 and 2007, many important publications and reports were published. All of these publications aim to improve the quality of information, increase the predictability of projects outcome and reduce the risk and waste. Then in 2007, BS 1192 was published. Collaborative Production of Architectural, Engineering and Construction Information, Code of Practice. Its main content were Common Data Environment, Naming Conventions, File Container Classification, Suitability Codes, Revision Codes. In 2011, BIS invited a work group to create BIM Strategy Report. The purpose of the report was to improve the performance of the government estate in terms of cost, value, carbon performance. The report introduced the famous UK BIM Standards Roadmap. Also in 2011 and 2012, BS 8541 series was issued. It includes elements such as drafting standards, annotations objects, graphical level of detail, and naming conventions. In 2013, REBA issued REBA Plan of Work. It organizes the process of briefing, designing, constructing, maintaining, operating and using building projects into a number of key stages. Also, it details the tasks and outputs required at each stage which may vary or overlap to suit specific project requirements. Later in same year, PA 1192-2 was issued. Specification for Information Management for the Capital-Delivery Phase of Construction Projects Using Building Information Modeling PA 1192-2 is one of the most important documents in the BIM world. It focuses specifically on project delivery. Its application begins with the statement of need and works through the stages of the information delivery cycle, culminating in an as constructed asset information model, AIM. Its main content includes EIRNBEP Information Delivery Cycle Volume Strategies Roles and Responsibilities Levels of Model Definition PA 1192-2 also introduced this iconic workflow that summarized the whole process. That was the road that led to PA 1192-2. In next videos, we will see how this standard together with the BS 1192 became the basis for ISO 19651 and 2, then we will discuss the four documents in detail. If you like the video, kindly like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.